my dear brothers and sisters of nagaland i extend my greetings and warm wishes to the people of nagaland on the occasion of 74th republic day as we celebrate the joyous day along with the rest of the country we remember with the deep reverence all the freedom fighters whose great sacrifices brought freedom for all of us after centuries of bondage and gave us a constitution with a solemn resolve to secure for all our citizens justice liberty and equality we as a nation remain committed to the towering ideas of our constitution as we continue marching on the path of development and progress and for attaining our rightful place among the community of nations friends while we feel immensely happy of our successes we also remain aware of the long standing naga political issue the final settlement of which continues to elude us we know however that with the genuine efforts being made by everyone it is very close to resolution i again earnestly call upon every group and individual concerned to set aside any kind of misgivings or differences that one may be still having seize the moment take that crucial last leap display the highest degree of understanding and accede to the desire of what has been yearned for long by our people and bring about the final settlement there cannot be a bigger gift to our people than the long awaited final solution and let us not keep them waiting any more our nation for the first time assumed the presidency of g20 for a period of one year which is a proud moment for all of us as a nation the g20 a grouping consisting of the major developed and developing countries of the world accounts for 85% of global gdp 75% of international trade and 2/3 of the world population making it the premier forum for international economic cooperation india's presidency of the g20 provides a unique opportunity to place our narrative in the global agenda and to showcase india's development and cultural diversity under india's chair approximately 200 meetings at various levels will be conducted in more than 50 locations covering many of the states and union territories in each of the meeting participation of delegates from some 40 countries and international organizations is expected this will be largest multilateral event held in india in recent years in our state also a g20 meet is scheduled to be held at kohima on 5th april 2023 it will be a business 20 meet and would see participation of about 70 delegates the venue of the conference will be state banquet hall the conduct of the g20 meet in nagaland will help showcase the development of the state its strength and rich cultural diversity and heritage to the international community the event would also further enhance the growing reputation of the state across the world as a beautiful and unique tourist destination friends in a few weeks from now we will be having the general election to the nagaland legislative assembly in this mandatory constitutional and democratic exercise i appeal to every stakeholders of the political process to assist in ensuring free fair and peaceful elections in our state i would expect the entire election machinery to function in a neutral unbiased and effective manner on all matters concerning the electoral process and also take step for educating educating the voters and increasing their awareness and participation in the electoral processes i also appeal to every voter to come out on the day of poll and exercise his or her franchise 
as citizens of the largest democracy in the world and with the democratic tradition that are embedded in our traditions and society let's all resolve to take every step for a clean corruption free inducement free election devoid of any kind of electoral malpractices we as a state have many achievements of which we are highly proud of however as we are all aware there are many areas in which we have to further improve there are certain parts and regions of our state also which have seen development deficit as we celebrate the republic day let's all resolve to work with the renewed vigor to achieve the desired success in every sphere and field and in every nook and corner of the state without any exception and ensure a high quality of life to our people across the state jai hind